Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and... This is Bahama. And welcome to episode 18 of... Septac Ages. What's up, buddy? Uh, I'm getting ready for us to make a new house. You are? Yep. Have you seen the hole I made? I have not seen the hole I that you made. Come over here. I'm looking. Ooh, have, there's a hole. Have a look at my sweet hole. Wow, wow. Uh, fancy. phrasing. Are we gonna be Are we gonna be living underground? Uh, I was actually thinking that we would be above this. Okay. So this functions well as like a place that we can mine more cobblestone. Yeah. But also, it gives us a path into like a basement where you could like hide wires and stuff like you like to do. Cool. I don't know how far away we are from having wires, but I like the idea of it. Uh, well, I did some I things just... between episodes, dude. Your what? I did lots of things between episodes. You do stuff? I, I did some things. Uh, I explored our environment a bit, uh, and I found lapis, and I found iron, and I found rock crystals, and I found gold, and I found more iron. Nice. Uh, I also made myself a basic backpack from the Iron Backpacks mod. How many slots does your backpack have? Uh, 18. So mine has 18 as well, but it's upgradable to an iron backpack and then a gold backpack with a reasonably small amount of iron and gold required to do that. So I don't know if you might want to look into making an iron backpack, um, but it does require wool, which is something we have access to now. We didn't have access to mm -hmm. before. Um, you will find that the wool recipe is not quite that easy. Uh, I think the only way to make wool is to get white fleece, which you shear sheep for. Uh, and then you need a block of wicker, which is basically 16 sugar cane, is a block of wicker. So if you want the four wool that you need for a backpack, you need 64 sugar cane. Uh, and you need a, a handful of wool. Uh, you'll notice if you come over here, that I set up a little sugar cane farm. Uh... Over by the, the, the river, towards our spawn. Where'd you go? <laughs> so I see you took advantage of the bridge I started. Uh, I did. I expanded it and turned it into a sugarcane farm. I, I, I'm, I'm not kidding when I'm snag. saying we needed a lot of sugarcane to make that backpack. So it was a lot of just like waiting for sugarcane to grow off camera. And I'm like, all right, this is going to become a big farm now because we needed a lot of it. Um, so my goal for today is to go get rock crystals uh, and potentially some iron and gold. Um, so it sounds like a fun episode of, of mining. Oh, and also because I was running around the entire map, um, I killed every cow that I came across. So we have like a stack of steaks right now. We also have some pork chops and some cooked meat and some potatoes and some other things. So uh, that, that's nice. If you're hungry, help yourself. It's in the, it's in the cauldron. Just remember, pair that with some wood. Uh, pair that with some wood. Pair that with some bread, and you get tasty sandwiches that are much better for mm, you. Tasty sandwiches. Yeah, I haven't been making bread because that's like a long and complicated process. It's, it's like not steak a long is and really easy. Process. You put it in the cauldron and you walk away. And bread's like combine these six ingredients and mix it in a mixing bowl and do some stuff and all this other yada yada yada. So. That's that's what I was up to between episodes. I made that. Oh, it's also I went so... to the deep dark or I went to the beneath and uh, I got us a lot more aquamarines. So Palmar, come here. You ready for this bit? This is something I forgot about this awesome sigil. And it was it made the deep dark so much better. You ready? Watch. Mm -hmm. You ready? Bing. Yeah, you showed me that last episode. But it's a projectile. Yeah. I didn't I didn't show you that it was a projectile. So you can literally, like, I ran around the dark, the deep dark, and I was, like, spamming right-click, and I was just shooting these things like crazy. And it was lighting up the hole beneath, and I was able to do whatever I wanted. <laughs> I also have an iron sword now, because we had a fall one night when I was making the hole. Yeah, I got my iron oh, yeah. sword from the beneath. I, uh, I killed some mobs in there when I was hunting Aquamarine. So basically, I did a lot of resource gathering between episodes, um, and I mapped out where rock crystal and stuff is. So I want to head over to my rock crystal spot. Um, and start getting that first because I want to progress in Astral Sorcery. So, like, Astral Sorcery is going to be the thing I progress in. Um, you are welcome to uh, do things as well. But that's what I'm going to work on. But can we come back in a minute? I want to run over to the Rock Crystal area and, uh, and, and get ready to mine over there. Sounds good. Okay, cool. So we will be back in five minutes, guys, and I will be in the Rock Crystal area that I found. It's not far. It's just a quick run that I want to do off camera. Hello. All right, guys. So I found Rock Crystal lore. 
Basically, yeah, what I did was uh, dug down dug. in my chunk that had rock crystals. I'll show you in a minute. Dug straight down and uh, started digging out the chunk until I found rock crystal ore. I actually got a bunch already, but I'm going to grab a few more. I So, like, you'll see in Palomar's video that I totally, like, thought I was recording and wasn't recording. Like, Fraps crashed and, like, lost the recording. So, like, we lost about, like, five minutes of footage there. So, if you want to hear what happened, you can watch Palomar's video. Okay, I guess I'm keeping that segment now. Keep that segment. Just leave it in. Your video can be 35 minutes long. It's a good thing I didn't delete it. Right? Just, just say it. Just, just leave it. It's fine. It's cool. It's all good. We're professionals. Mm. So FYI, what you're looking for is uh, this rock crystal sample. And it makes stardust when you break it, which is cool. So I already collected a bunch of this in, in the last segment that got lost. Um, and, and that was a good times. Also, Pahamar, totally love that I learned that you can run underwater with these boots. You cheaty guy. So cheaty. Swimming is really slow, but running is really fast. And it is awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool if you're part of the team. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're correct about that. So I got the advancement for rock, paper, crystals. Um, and that means, and I already, so like the segment that was lost, I got a bunch of rock crystal. Uh, and I'm probably going to wind up making uh, an astral sorcery crate because uh, astral sorcery has a lot of non-stacking items in it. Well, mostly rock crystals, but yeah. Um, so oh, yeah. like. Ah, what? Uh, you all right? You know? It's a, it's a white. Where? In, in the between lands. He's just staring at me, making creepy sounds. <laughs> That's cool. So I got rock crystals. So that means I should be able to make parchment paper now. Uh, what I'm going to need is that that Abyssal Craft book. And I have to do a ritual uh, to get constellation paper. And then in theory, we should be cool. So there's my Necronomicon, and I've got my Cthulhu statue, which I'm gonna... Ow, 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 ow. Oh my goodness, Bomb, are you all right? He's hurting me. Well, what did you expect him to do? Just die. Oh, okay. Quarks is gonna combat. yell at me for not being there with you now. She's gonna be like, dire wolf. So Constellation Paper also needs gold ingots. So I'm gonna go get our gold stuff going on. Is this a rising sun? It is. Cool. Um, so let me put away some resources here. So you can go away. I'll hang on to my Necronomicon because we're gonna need it. You can go away, clay that I collected. Oh, oh, oh. All right. What advancement is that, Chopping Boy? Uh, I got rotten food and a white's heart. Neat. Gertz donut animator. Did you say a Hertz and donut? Gertz. Oh, it would have been funny if it was a Hertz donut. And uh, apparently I can make a life crystal. Hey, Bahamar, you want a Hertz donut? I'm going to Hertz you. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I should have... Keep your dad jokes to yourself. I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. It's hard, though. Uh, where's my thing that tells me my Y level? Didn't I have one of those? You had one of those. You were borrowing mine. Did you borrow it back? I don't think so. Is that it? There it is. Plumb line. I found it. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go get gold because I need gold to make my uh, astral sorcery paper. So gold is down here in this general direction, which is actually quite quick to run to. Uh, we're not actually that far from any of the resources I found. It did, it did take me a reasonably large amount of time to find them all, but we're not far from them once they were found. It is kind of hard to find resources in this pack. And rock crystals, like, I didn't mine them all out um, because there's a lot there. Not that much. I, I would have liked it if it was a larger vein, but it, the rock crystals don't seem to be like like the other things. So running along the ocean floor is a little bit tricky. So that, I think, is what? That's my rock crystals. Gold is continuing along this direction. Why am I in so much combat? Oh. 
Also, this stuff, guys, the brown stuff is mud, and that you walk slower on, so that you can't sprint across. So if you see that dark brown stuff, the mud, you'll you'll get like a snaring effect when you walk in it. So sprinting across that's no good, either in so in water or not. See, like this is me sprinting across it. So we should be getting reasonably close to the goal. Oh great, there's between lands piranhas. <laughs> that's funny. Reasonably close. Oh, that would there we go. Far. I see that on that. Look, even the dogs hate the piranhas. I know, right? They're terrified of the between lands, like us. All right, so we should be getting close to the gold chunk. Now, where is those gold clusters? Uh, here's some. Nice. This is it. Gold chunk. See, gold samples. So now I want to plumb line and find some gold. Nothing of interest, up to 48. Mm. My goodness. What Y level is, is gold at? Mm. It compels me in here, doesn't it? Age 2. He's dead. 8 to 40. I got a lurker skin. So it's very likely that mm. I'm not going to find my gold sample, because we're currently at... 69 so that brings me down to 21 so like if it's below 20 i'm not gonna find it which is a bummer nothing of interest okay i wasn't sure why i had it. nothing of interest up to 48 <laughs> couldn't this thing have gone down like 64 why did it have to be 48 I was hoping that I would like stumble upon the gold, but I feel like that's probably not going to happen now. Can we come back in a sec? We can come back in a sec. I'm going to dig straight down again, so we'll be right back. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, so see this big hole here? It used to be full of gold, and that's what gold looks like. What? What? Yeah, Palomar was offline when I got the gold, so it just synced our achievements. Oh, you're just a dirty cheater. You know it. Uh, so, guess what, Palomar? This is like the second or third vein of ore that I found on a chunk boundary. More even accurately, potentially a chunk corner. Uh, so I feel like chunk boundaries are like a good first place to look for ores. I have heard from Dark Ghosto that... Um, or for whatever reason does favor a certain quadrant of a chunk. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely seems to be favoring boundaries at least. Um, so and and overlapping, like like it, it was in this chunk and then it expanded into that chunk. So realistically the ore was mostly in the neighboring chunk from the one that the whatchamacallit stuff was in. Do, 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 do. So what I did is I dug down to Y level 30, and I dug a cross section of the chunk, and I went to each of the corners and did this. I'm so glad you're showing me what you did. I'm showing my YouTube audience. I right clicked each of the edges of the chunk with the dowsing rod. And when I did that, you can see right around here, I found gold, right? So then I dug down deeper and found the actual gold pieces. Um, so, like, at one of these, the one that I just, you know, pillared up from, this is the one that had two gold in it, right? Um, and and that's, that's, how, that's how I did what I did. Pretty neat. For the record, this place is kind of terrifying, because I'm hearing weird sounds. Oh, uh, looks like I am avoiding another white. What's the name of that dimension again? The Between Lands. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. Why would you think anything other than it's terrifying? You're just a bundle of joy. Like, like, I'm just saying, like, what, what, what part of the between land makes you think that it's going to be like a sunshine and roses dimension? 
It also doesn't mean that it's necessarily like, oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Is it that It just bad? means that it's between lands. Well, there's a white outside who wants to kill me again. And they have like 75 health. Sweet. So by the way, this is what I was doing between episodes, guys, and that's why I had like so much steak. Because I just... Cows, by the way, drop a significant amount of beef. Yep. Those look like rocks, actually. So, uh, I just got us a lot of gold, buddy. Nice, get some iron. Uh, that's the next thing I'm gonna go do, like, right... Oh, creeper. That's what I'm gonna do, like, right now. Let's get some iron. And then I'm gonna go back to our base and smelt it all. So I did a little bit... I go! I love it, I love it. It's, like, I'm, you're even faster on the floor of the ocean than you are on land. It's insanity. Like, like, that was not video speed up. That was just literally how fast you move. It's amazing. Uh, is that the closer to my base iron? Yeah, it is. So it's like, it's legitimately close to our base. I'm probably going to stop and, and sleep real quick because it's so close to our base. Do, 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 do. There's our base. What's up, base? Did you say that it's the ace of base? It is the ace of all the bases that we have. So I just want to highlight something. Go on. This is the first time I've seen it rain on this server. I've seen it rain lots of times. Okay, usually well, it's raining this... before you get on, because I usually beat you onto the server. So typically it's raining before you get here. Um, and, and I've slept through the night so that it's not raining when we record. Because I don't like the way rain messes with the recording quality kind of thing. Wait. I'm, I'm just saying. All right, now how do I get a rubber? We've clearly abandoned our organizational skills. So apparently to move faster in the between lands, I can use rubber boots. I guess a lot of this place is just mud. Uh, yeah, you should probably use the slime boots and the slime sling. I assume no, that those are on no. now. Rubber boots. Rubber boots allow me to walk in the mud. Well, Slime Sling is also unlocked, so... Yes, yeah. so one of the... So the other thing I researched, the thing I need for the smeltery, is in a place called the Mud Plains. That is all mud. Cool. And you dig through it, so I'd rather not move, like, at quarter speed, but just bounce around. All right, I'm I, just saying. I did my Did research. you say you found... Oh, congealed slime block? I can use that. Congealed blood thingy. What was congealed blood again? You could also do it with... You could do it with glue. Blood... So I can put rotten flesh in the smelter and get it. Okay, cool. I'm glad you're listening to me. Yeah, no, but I don't know if you can make a block of slime with glue. Can you? Yes, you can. Really? How do you think I got the slime boots? You got slime boots? Oh my goodness, Dyer. <laughs> How do you think I dropped down and didn't die when we went to the beneath? I Wild dog pelt boots? No, those don't prevent all fall damage. They prevent a lot of fall damage. They don't provide all of it. Fair enough. Endermen are a thing now. I just want you to know this. Yep, same as fallen knights. Yeah. It feels like every age doesn't just unlock items, but it also unlocks enemies. So this is where I found this stuff. Hooray! Iron is in this chunk. So let's have a tight. Hey, look at that. Well that was that was easy. I found iron pretty quickly. It was literally the first block I clicked on. It was like, yep, there's iron here. How cool is that? Good. Yeah, dude, it's real good. So I'm once again digging straight down. I don't know what Y-level hematite's at, but I'm assuming we're going to find it soon. I'm only going to mine a few of these. Uh, the reason I mined out the entire gold chunk is it was A, far away from our base. Not that far, but far enough. And B, uh, Palmar had like a 15-minute AFK that he had to do between our recording sessions. So I'm like, well, since I'm waiting for Palmar, I might as well... Mine out all the stuff. So I literally sat there and mined out the entire gold vein. But I'm not going to do that with iron right now, because there's no need. How do I get rubber? Is it like something I use that leaves Get like form? roughly 18, so we can have two blocks of iron and that'll be good enough. I get the rubber ball, okay. but where do I get rubber ball? Rubber ball comes from smelting 
a weed wood bucket of rubber. So that's how I'll mark. That's that's what's up. Does that mean there's just like liquid rubber for me to get? Mm. I'm so confused. Is there like a tree tap? I'm gonna put that in a resources chest, even though technically it's a mob drop. Um, but let's smell. Oh, up. I wish this mod had a like a book or something. Uh, which one? The between. between. Yeah, the between lands. lands. Word. Because uh, apparently I need to go like venturing out into the world to find this biome I need to go to. Yeah. Wait a minute, one of my... They're like weird balls are going away. Yeah? Am I in this dimension too long? Oh. Slime, you should totally make a slime sling though because they are the best thing ever. Okay. Have, like, do you, do you not know what a slime sling is? I'm in combat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I didn't know that. <laughs> You've also been literally talking about a slime sling for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Wow, those things teleport. Yeah. And they have like crazy projectile attacks. Not cool, man. Not cool. Really not cool. Ouch. Did you initiate combat or was he aggressive from the start? Um, they're aggressive from the start. Okay, fair enough. All right, just just let me stop. Stop it with the thing. <laughs> stop it. Go, I'm gonna take those go away. Because I want my slime sling first. I think before go. I start smelting this stuff up. Think about what you did. Do you want to come back after you get your corpse? No, I've already got my corpse. I oh. literally died in the portal tree. <laughs> nice. Well, that's convenient at least. Yes, but then I like I I thought I was gonna spawn back in our dimension. Right. Nope. Oh. Wow, that guy hits gotcha. hard. Uh, okay. So let's see how much rotten flesh we Plan need. Plan of attack. That's 120 millibuckets, and that is a quarter. Nope. Uh, so we're gonna definitely want a bit more of this. So that's like a sixth. No, not quite. A fifth? That probably makes sense. No. It's 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 five and then like a little bit more. So we'll see. Uh, so let's put four more sets of three in there. Wow, now you're actually quiet. Yeah, no, I'm 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 doing math. I know that's hard. It yeah. is, it is. So each one of those would be 40, and 640 divided by four is 16. So ultimately we need 16. Okay, that makes sense. So I put three, I put 12 more, so we need technically that many, and that would be, so 16 zombie flesh is a block of congealed. I'm making myself a slime sling. Okay. You do that. I am. So I need three glue. Uh, There's then... so much about the between lines I don't know. String. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mod that I'm not familiar with. Uh, between lands and abyssal craft, neither of those am I super good at. Ooh, a bear. Come here, bear. I want to kill you. I am not doing well on nutrition. I don't know about you. I'm doing great. You getting buffs and stuff? No, because I've been ignoring uh, fruit. But, like, protein and vegetable, I'm at 100, and grain, I'm at 78. But fruit, I'm at zero. So I'm not getting buffs, but mostly because I've been ignoring fruit. Cool. Uh, I'm waiting for things to melt. Are you doing something interesting, or should we come back in a minute? We can come back in a minute. Okay, cool. All right, buddy. What's up? Uh, so during the break, I did a little reading. Okay. I think I know what I got to do. Where did my glue go? I don't know. How do you make glue again? Oh, it's three rotten flesh. Okay. And makes glue. So I need four more in there. There's my problem. Oh, oh good. My buddy, the white is still here. Yeah. So I figured out what those balls are. Oh. 
Um, in oh, the between lands, you remember the balls that are above your hunger? Yes. That is known as decay. Oh. So That's decay cool. is a mechanic in the between lands. Basically, if you're here too long, okay. you will turn into a white. That's cool. What happens then? So you you basically just die. Oh. Oh. Like it's like a slow death. So what you can do though is you can find sap trees and sap trees you can consume the sap. I'm actually just getting towards one right now. You can consume the sap and that will prolong how long you can be here. Neat. I think that's that sounds yep, pretty sap awesome. Tree. So here. And the reason all the tools took a super long time is because um, you're only supposed to use between land tools here. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. So you gotta like make them from like special wood. So here's a ball of sap. Nice, you got a cure. It just, yeah. So like, have you used a slime sling before? Yes, I have. Remember Forever Stranded, the first one where I was bouncing everywhere. Okay, cool. I, li I literally know what a slime sling is. You don't have to. You don't have to sell it anymore. You, you just didn't it. seem as I'm excited as selling. I would have expected you to be. I was literally in combat with a demon from another world. That that's fair. It's fair. I, I didn't know you were in combat, so, so you were just like, I don't know what a slime sling, whatever that was. No, I never said I don't know what it is. I just said I don't care. I understand. No, I get it. Let's put these guys away. Ooh, good. Repair my bear claw guy. Always need more repairing on this thing. I'll hold off because it's. That's why I got excited when I saw the bear because I could repair my my bear claw. The paxel is so good. All right, so I'm cooking up uh, some gold. Once we get that guy, I think I need to hammer him right uh, to turn him into ingots. Yeah, if you got a tinker smeltery going, that would be super super. Awesome. That's what I'm here for. I, I agree. You're here to be super awesome. No, I mean, that's why I'm in the between lands. Right, yeah, that too. So, um, that said, uh, we, 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 there's, there's things that we can progress on. I'm going to work on Astral Sorcery, but I will make sure that you are around to see that because it's a cool mod and, and you should know it. Also, I've heard you get some really powerful stuff from Astral Sorcery in our age, so I feel like that's a good one to progress down. So I looking agree. at the age list, right, like, I'm going down the Astral Sorcery path. There's also a couple other paths. You're going to do... Ooh, we can make a watering can now, by the way, buddy. Nice. We also have that ritual from uh, Totemic. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, but watering can is like... You were so set in your old ways. What? I know. You were reading Rorax's tweets, weren't you? No, like, just in general, you don't accommodate change well. Well, number one, uh, we don't exactly <laughs> have a lot of free time in this series, to be fair. Right? Like, we're scrambling to get this video done, like, a day before it's due to go live. Oh, <laughs> No, what I'm just saying is is that you go to your tried and true methods. You don't I'm, I won't disagree with you. I definitely do some tried and true methods. But also to be fair, we're playing a pack that's like heavily challenging. Like and and some of the things that I made an effort to make were very useful. Um specifically calling out the the, the sigil of the blood lamp. That is an awesome, awesome thing in this pack, especially if you're going into the beneath. Right? So, trust me what I'm saying, like... I agree, I'm set in my ways, and I know the things that I know, and I'm, I'm good at the things that I'm good at. Um, mostly it's a time thing, I think, for us, is that I haven't... But you're you're doing the new things. I'm doing, I'm doing like, the infrastructure and having good stuff. That's Ooh, how you dog. get rubber. I'm not gonna lie, by the way, dude, I've killed at least, like, 20 of these dogs. And they're not dropping dog pelts anymore. I don't know what's up with that. But I haven't seen a wild dog pelt in, like, days. You, I'm gonna want. I should probably consider using mm. junkier crystals. So that's a size. Th like any of them can be modified, like as things go down. But having. 
So let's try and get two constellation papers. Does that sound fair? For now. I keep hearing things moving. It's really creeping me out. So basically eight aquamarines. Four gold. How do I know? And then the parchment. Did I actually make more parchment or did I not actually make more parchment? I know I got the washi stuff. Okay, so that does actually slowly fill it up. Okay, so I need to make more. I made parchment, didn't I? Wasn't that a quest? I feel like I've gone backwards a step in terms of tech. Really? Well, I'm back to using the chopping block. All my tools are made out of wood. I mean, I get it. This is like a wet swamp dimension -y thing. It's just a little weird. That's fair. Did I use my parchment to make my astral tome? Is that what I did? That probably is what I did. So I'm going to definitely want a little bit more washy. Uh, so that is used to make parchment, right? Yeah. So we're going to want more of this, which uh, let's let's see if there's a better way to get it. Uh, mulberry sheets from Mulberry Pulp, skin pouch, which is dried, soaked gecko mulberry cage, bark. Bone shield. Which is amulet. great. Okay. Uh, so do we have mulberry bark still, or do I have to grind up some more of those mulberry trees? We have oak bark. So I think we've got at There's least... a lot of use for this weed wood. Yeah. Yeah, so far a lot of the tools I'm using out here are made of weed wood. Gotcha. I think I'm going to have to chop down new mulberry woods. Well, you got saplings for them, so... I do. Lovely. There we go. Ooh, what's that? It's a shield. Yeah? Are you rectangle man now? Yes, I'm rectangle man. Yay. out here uh, I'm gonna apologize but I did not hear anything you just said what uh, I was I was I was using the sawmill and it was a oh. lot of it's like the loudest block in the world Tain a swift pick apologies my friend uh, I did not intentionally ignore everything you were just talking about yes you did I mean I did a little bit mixin mixin Apparently an animator is a big deal. Yeah. I can see so much of the stuff here is made of weed wood. I kind of want to see, like, is that like a helmet? Can I just, like, wear wood armor? Mm. The questions. Oh, I'm yawning. I don't know why. Mm. Apparently I can make a rowboat. I wonder if there's a way to automate this wooden basin, because this thing is painfully slow to use right now. JEI is not much help in that regard. This and automating drying would be nice too. I made a rowboat, but it uses left and right to know which way to go. Like to turn. Oh yeah, those are fun to drive. Those are cool. Yeah, you have to literally like hold left and right a lot. That's cool. So I suspect we're gonna need a lot of washi. Where are you? Fish that's trying to kill me. Oops. 
There you are. I see you. Don't think I'm in the biome I want to be in, but this looks like crag rock. Neat. Neat is not the word. What's that? I said neat is not the operative word I would have gone with. Cool. I'm using sawmill for a minute. If you time the right clicks well, it's really fast. You just don't know. But you really have to time it like just right. Ooh, perfect. Divisible by four. Come on, Primal Basin. Stir. Yay. Hey. Where'd my boat go? Did my boat break? Hmm. So is it one star that's needed and then wait? This may be problematic. Again? What did this stuff look in the water? Maybe better? Right, this this can't possibly be dangerous. <laughs> so is it always nighttime or always daytime? Or is that like its own schedule over there? I don't quite know. Angler tooth. Because I've slept once or twice in the in the overworld, and I don't know if that's helping you or. No, it's not having any effect here. Okay, oh, there's my boat. It's just like drifting away. So I have lots of sawdust. There's the mulberry pulp that I want, and then I'm gonna want you. I don't quite. All right, returning. Wait, is it the horse press? Yeah, it is the horse press, that's right. Sweet. Pressing. This is kind of weird. What's that? Roboting. Oh yeah, it, it takes a little bit to get the hang of, but it's still neat. It is definitely neat. Okay, I think I'm about to make constellation paper, which is cool. All so right, essentially there. that's it. Right? That. So um, boat. I'm gonna make more of this off camera because this is a really long crafting process. I'm gonna go check on my rubber um, buckets. Oh, that one looks like Do you want to be here when I make uh, constellation paper? Because I'm about to do it. Is that like a cool thing? It's just using that uh, the same thing we used to make the luminous crafting table and other things. It's the Necronomicon ritual thingy. Okay. You mean it's not like... I would have thought that after the first one you'd be able to do it with the Astro Sorcery method. Uh, well, this is making something different. It's constellation paper. There is an Astral Sorcery method, but it looks like it's further in the Astral Sorcery progression line. Uh, before we can do that. I could have sworn I got my fourth one of these out. Oh, that's right. I used one to make the paper. That's right. Derp. Uh, so did you want to be here for this or no? Yeah, I'm on my way. Okay. I've seen some cool. stuff and some things, man. I bet. And I think I've got in my backpack. Is that where I have my Astral Sorcery book? It is. Okay. All right, here I am. Here it goes. And again, that uses a thousand F P E from Necronomicon. Yay! There you go. Actually, it uses 500. Okay, cool. I think the thing said it uses. Nice. Filling Going the gaps and defeat the Ender Menace. Yep. So now, if I throw this at you, I forget, and you pick that up, what does that yep. say on it? Does it? Did it give you a message in your chat? You memorize a drawing of a versio. Good. Right click it. Neat. Yeah. So that's a constellation. Uh, once we find it in our telescope, you'll actually see it visually in the sky. It's really nice. But hook me okay. back up with that because I need that thing. So nice. you got the same constellation? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's cool the way they do it. Is um the paper is generic, and when you get it, is when it defines what it is, because there's like a bunch of different constellations. So eventually, you'll pick up a blank piece of paper, and it'll say there's nothing new to learn, and you can put it back. So if you were playing on a server with other people, you could give that blank piece of paper to somebody, and they would get a new, um, a new constellation from it, which is nice because it's like you'll never. Um, you'll never wind up like duplicating a con like you'll never pick up uh, another one You always learn a new one whenever you get it It just takes from the pool of ones you haven't learned yet and randomly picks one nice Yeah, in 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 generic or, or in vanilla astral sorcery, it's found as uh, dungeon loot um, But in, in here you craft it because I'm presuming it's not in dungeon loot Get another bucket. Get nice another bucket. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so that is uh, another bit of progression for us, dude. Uh, so now nice. we need to defeat the Ender Menace, which I kind of did. The Endermen have begun spawning in the world. Just lay them to obtain their Ender Dust. We already got that. Ooh, yeah, no. You'll need a resonating one for House of Sorcery to continue your journey. Uh, I think it's a good thing that we found an Enderman early, because I feel like... If I remember looking this up, it was an Ender Pearl, which is made 250 millibuckets, but we need an Ender Pearl cast. So I want rubber boots so I can find a sludge biome so I can find the ore I need. Wow, this is complicated. I'm pretty sure that I'm dependent on you having a Tinker's casting table in order for yep, us to progress. Probably. In Astral Sorcery. Ah, so ah! What's up? What is that thing? I don't know. I can't see it. Where are you? Swamp Hag. Ooh, that sounds awesome. So I feel like I can't do anything in Astral Sorcery until you get your Tinkers thing up and running. So, no pressure. I'm literally trying to avoid death. Why do you always have things for me to do when I'm literally avoiding death? I mean, how do I work? Do you have like a death radar? Yes. Actually, I forgot that. It's a real thing. It should be, if it's not already. I'm gonna it put is. These we things literally have here. a death compass. Put these guys. All right, heal up. It's a great way to get my fruit. Okay, uh, so that is that quest line. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go mine up by our lapis. I'm gonna go find that real quick. So I can put these things away. So we now have a way at least. I have to say the NPCs in this dimension are legitimately terrifying. Nice. Um, so let's get this guy. Do you want to come back in a minute? I'm about to go back into combat. Okay. I'm not sure how we're doing on time, but I feel like we're... We probably are. Oh my god, now there's a tar beast. Oh, this is just the worst thing ever. <laughs> uh... Maybe, like, would it make sense for me to come to that dimension with yes. you? And, like, yes. help you out? What is Maybe this? Next oh, episode, that's did the hag we'll just duplicate? Oh my goodness, the heck, oh my goodness. Yeah. The monsters in this world are legitimately terrifying. I'm out. Yeah. We'll deal Lapis. with them next time. Uh, well, let me check the, uh, let's check our timing here and, and we'll come back. Yeah, no, it's 100% wrapping up point for sure, but uh, we are like way late. Yeah, that's price. What's that? I said, yeah, I'm not surprised. I need some of those gross bones. All right, so we had fun today. We got some good things accomplished. Uh, we'll come back next time. I'm going to find the lapis sample underground, uh, but I don't want to dig down the stairs because there's lava. So, Total Point signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy. Bye-bye.